how to get that engineering internship in 2022. Let's get to it. Step number one, be strategic with how you send your resumes out. So I like to use a two pronged approach with this. The first step is to send out your resume to as many companies as you can. Obviously don't spam them, but try and get your resume out to as many people as you can so everybody can see it. What I would also then do is pick your favorite companies and then target them specifically. Tailor your resume, tailor your application, spend a good amount of time on it in that response to their job ad or maybe just sending the, your resume to them directly and target them specifically. Get to know what type of company they are, what makes them tick, what are their values and really target those areas so that when you send your application to them, they're more likely to read it and know who you are. In this step, you really need to do your research. Don't just send them out to the first company that appears on Google. Click on them, read their web website, understand their people, understand their values, understand the projects and the areas that they work in, tailor your resume to suit and then send it out. Step number two, talk to your friends and talk to your professors. This is how I got my first job. I went into the library, I met up with some friends to do some study work and one of the friends was working at a, at a company and I asked him about the company and I asked him, do you have any contacts that I could, that I could get in touch with and, and have a chat with? And he said, yeah, sure, get in contact with person A. So what I did is I went home that day, gave him a call and guess what? A week later, he's calling me in for an interview and the rest is history. Step number four, join the organizations and go to their events. Now this step is a little bit more long-winded. It does take a bit of effort to join and go to these events and, and talk with people and it does take time, but it's worth it. Also, you can put the fact that you're with that organization on your resume and you can even talk about it in your application process. And when you go to these events, step out of your comfort zone, talk to people. It can be tricky. I'm still getting used to it and I still find it awkward, but it's an important thing because you're probably gonna be doing it in your career anyway. So might, may as well get started now. Now this tip here, tip number five, is a little different. Some people may not agree with this, but it's the approach that I used and it worked for me. And that's target the smaller companies. Now the reason for this is because there's less competition, but also because your competition is probably going to be doing the reverse of what I just said. They're going to be focusing on the big companies, on the impressive companies, and they may look at the small companies and go, oh look, here's my resume, and I might not ever hear anything. If you're targeting those small companies, not only is it less competition, but then your resume is also a higher quality, well, likely a higher quality than the other applicant. And my last bonus tip, which you may not have heard from anybody else, is that write a third document in your application. So you've got your resume, you've got your cover letter, add a third document. I did, and it has worked wonders. What did I put in that third document? Well, I like to put my experience and what I've done in my career in that third document. It could be what you've done at university in more detail. What are the projects you've done? What did you learn from those projects? How long did they take? What rewards did you get from those projects? What challenges did you go through in those projects? You're essentially answering some of the interview questions in your application. So that's all we had time for today, guys. I hope you liked the video. If you did, hit the like button, hit subscribe and ding the notification bell. That way we can share this video with, with as many engineers as we possibly can. I hope you enjoyed it. See you on the next video. Cheers.